Uh, welcome to show 214. Two, yeah, 214. Yeah. Uh, we're in uh, my house this week. We're sitting right. in my rental room. And we're starting with a track that I bought at the shed shop last week. And you would probably go right past this album. I did. But Brad didn't. And uh, it's actually got a couple of real barnstormers on it. And it's this New York City. I'm doing time now, as it was a big disco hit. But this track is Sanity. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, it's cool. It's kind of great in the shed, shed, shed shop. Just in case you don't know where that is, that is just opposite Piccadilly Line Tube Station on the Piccadilly Line. Show is, show is. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. In South Arundel Market, you can't miss it. No, you cannot. No, you cannot. You can't. You can just hear the wonderful tunes. Oh, that's right. That's right. That's it. I'm going to bring myself or Mr. Brown, obviously, in there. And yeah. uh, yes. Now every Monday to Saturdays. Right. 10 to 11 till 5 to 6. Depending on whenever I have to go and pick up the kid from the yeah. nursery. That's how it works. That's yeah. how it works. But nice selection today. Yeah. Nice selection. A few bits including the uh, new Mr. Format comp on, um, on BBE. That's right. Uh, DJ Format Psych Out. There you go. Yeah, that's Psych Out, not Lock Out. Mm. But yeah, it is a cracker. It's full of wonders, as you would expect from the man, from his travels around the world. Fascinating stuff. So if you haven't put it up yet, do it up a little good record with Yeah, do. Cool. What's this, Brad? This is Johnny Griffiths Inc. Grand Central Shuffle. Oh, it does shuffle. It certainly does. I like this sort of thing. This is nice. I haven't got a clue where I've got it. No. Did I buy it off you? No. I think you got it in the States. I don't think I did, did I? Uh, uh, uh. Anyway, uh, thanks for tuning in last week for the amazing Joey J interview. It was, uh, it was great having him in and um, fascinating stories. Uh, he seems to be linked to absolutely everything. So, he does, yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. And what a nice guy, man. Really nice guy. Yeah. He did some down really well and uh, hopefully there's some more news to come from that in the future. Yeah, yeah. I got a phone call from John Schroeder in the week. So uh, hopefully there'll be another interview with Mr. John Schroeder, so that'd be cool as well. Yeah, so, so we did... got a new book out! Yeah, so we did a bit before that we never released, and obviously, us being ignorant, didn't realise we could have released it, but luckily he's contacted us, and what we'll probably do is just redo the bit about the whole Simonde bit. Yeah, so expect lots of stuff about Simonde. Yeah, so I'll be looking forward to meeting the beginning, so lovely, yeah, exactly. lovely old chap. Yes, indeed, indeed. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's great. Now next up, um, a guy that's been uh, in, in contact with me, um, Sean, uh, he's a Canadian dude, uh, looks after Dulla Soul basically when they go around the globe, and um, he brought in a few stuff, a few bits in the shed uh, shop last week or the week before now, I can't remember, and uh, I got a couple of real nice tasty um, Brazilian and Mexican bits off of him, so the next one is one of those. This is uh, Love and Peace. Hang on. Peace and Love. Fuck is that? Yeah, uh, we it's got the, the power. Thing. We got the power. Yeah, it's excellent. Yeah, and this is one of Sean's favourite tunes, so this one is for you, sir. Sean La La. There you go. Sean La La. Yeah. Yeah, it's cracker. Perfect. Yeah, really, really nice. Yeah, you got another one uh, on the same label off of him as well, and it's, it's just amazing. So. Yeah. I'm looking really forward to him when he comes back so I can do some more trade with him. With the there you go. Yeah. This Saturday in Brighton, the Black Dove is uh, the next night in the, uh, the next night for the Jazzology night. <laughs> Does that sound right? Yeah. Yeah, Jazzology is quite... Uh, Tony Just is a metro of late, and yeah. it's going to be good. Yeah, uh, so the Black Dove and Brighton, yeah. uh, Jazzology always put on good nights. Yeah, and, totally. Uh, always have good DJs, and uh, Justice and Metro are no exceptions, they have good friends. So right. I'm going to do my best to get down there. I'm not sure what the England conversations are now, but I'm going to do my best to get down there. And uh, say hello and have a little 
Nice night, good music. Yeah, yeah. I'll try if I can. I don't know if I can get away from the yeah. kids, but yeah, I will try my very best. And hot off the press, I know that Mudge. Oh, sorry, Mudge and Jazzy might be actually, but there's a Metro Justice tape 45 minute pack. There is, there is, there is. Yeah, um, so I've just seen that just now. He just texted me and said, Do you want one? I said, Of course. Uh, but I don't know anything about it, so I've just said, Of course, the same. I've seen Limited, bro. Limited, bro. So, <laughs> yeah, check him out if yeah. you want. It's cool, it's cool. I've yeah, listened to it and uh, it's very, very nice indeed. Yeah, cool. As is this. Cool. Yeah. yeah next up was a uh, boot sale find the day before yesterday. And uh, Chris is going to get his snake out. <laughs> going to get my snake out. Yes, Al Wilson, the snake. Famous tune. Nice yeah. version. Yeah. Normal. Yeah, it's a nice dance floor rocker. Yeah. You can put this on and have a little dance, I don't know if people would have like it. Or even people that don't have an ironic dance on it. They would, they yeah. really yeah. do. Yeah. So, yeah. I like it a lot. Yeah, it's very nice indeed. Yeah. What else have we got on top of that? So, it's really late at night, but doing this quite late, and I'm a bit mm, jaded. Usually in bed by our past nine these days. You're not having a day here. <laughs> Take me yeah. in. to Brad. <laughs> hey, you. Hey, you. <laughs> That's not my belly button. <laughs> <laughs> Those aren't pillows. Those aren't pillows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's great, isn't it? Yeah, this is a nice, it's just a nice dance floor. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like Tom Jones did a cover. Yeah, yeah. And a few others. Yeah. And next up, we've got another one I found in the boot sale. And uh, I don't know very much about it. It's by Terry Lindsay and it's on Resident. Uh, and both sides are excellent, aren't they? Excellent. And we don't know which one to play yet, so yeah, it's either going to be hits over or one day up, next day down. Okay. I think the first side will be played because it's different to everything else we're playing tonight. Fair enough, let's go in the side. Nice chords. Lois. <laughs> I like this track a lot. I'm going to buy this as soon as we're finished. Because it's a real double sider. The other side is completely different to this. The other side's a bit more funky, actually. Yeah, it's yeah. a really cool tune, man. It's got attitude. But yes. this is just, I like, I like the phrasing. Yes. What year is it? 67? 67. It's wicked. Yeah. Yeah. I went home. My t shirt from Anton's Records in Austin. I'm wearing a very old Fat Lace uh, magazine for Asian B-Boys uh, t-shirt, which I've had for years. And I'm wearing boxer shorts from Marks and Spencer's. Chris isn't wearing anything, Dan. <laughs> no, no. It disturbs me when he does that. <laughs> yeah. Right. The other day I was in the loo at work, but in the restaurant, and there was a guy, and he, a grown man. <laughs> Are you telling me? And he's pulled his <laughs> pants and his boxer shorts. All the way down to his ankles, but like a little boy, like a statue, like mannequin piss or something. He was leaning right forward, peeking. And it disturbed me. My kid does that all the time. Yeah, yeah. and it disturbed me, but what disturbed me more was, my looks were far much longer than I should have. <laughs> it was disturbing. Did you lick his buttons? No. I didn't look at his package. No, good, good. And it wasn't much of a package, but we're going to give you Mr. Format's package oh, next. There you go, <laughs> so. <laughs> yeah. You can be happy, because it's a wonderful package. It is lovely. Yeah. In my hands I have DJ Format's Psych Out. It is a wonderful comp on BBE of some of the weird and wonderful stuff that he has collected. Many places such as Singapore, United States, West Germany, United Kingdom, obviously West Germany, uh, uh, France, Hungary, Uruguay, and this is from Russia. Yeah. And this is called, Chris is going to pronounce it, because Chris is our linguist on the show. Alexander Sergeyevich Yatsipin, The Shaman's Dance. Yeah. This is so cool. That's so good, isn't it? When you get past the crazy intro, man. Yeah, but it's a um, lovely put together thing. It's a real document yeah. of uh, love, this man. So, get it, uh, you can get it anywhere. I got mine on Amazon, oddly enough. But, um, you 
can get it anywhere. It's, uh, I'm sure you can go to the Love Vinyl and grab a copy. Um, yeah, you can. Yeah. But it's, um, it's very nice. Yeah. It's got all the details of all the tracks, obviously. Very nice indeed. Yeah, it's wicked. Really, really good. Yeah. Um, I'm glad to say that I actually don't know any of the records that are on display, which means it's wicked good. Yeah. yeah. Cracker. Yeah. I imagine if you got the records, they'd be worth a small fortune. Probably, yeah. Really, really love this though. If you can get them, yeah. So, I'm squeezy toy in the background. Like that. The sleeve was done by Jake Holloway. Ah, well done, Jake. Well done, Jake. Who, um, is he still in Austin, Texas? He was in Austin. I saw that. Yeah. He's taking exactly the same picture as I am. Yeah. When I was stalking him online. Yeah. I hope he comes back with some goodies. I'm sure he will. Mm. Yeah. Alright, next up. Let's sound. We've got a classic piece of uh, rap history here, the Cormo D, Busy B Star Ski battle that happened in 1981 at the uh, yeah, uh, Rappers Convention. And um, I thought, I feel it's a little bit unfair this actually, because it sounds like Busy B wasn't up to having a battle at all, and then Cormo D comes along and just kills him. Either way, he does it in a very good fashion. So we're going to play the Cormo D side, um, which is part two. There we go. Yeah, brilliant this. Uh, yeah, my heroes on stamps, RDT, RTDT Records. You get lovely Cormo D and Busy B stamps on the front there. You can get one inside as well, one or two. It's great. Yeah. I had this on one of those sort of like bootleg records, but uh, I love the fact that they put it on a single. I think it's excellent. Yeah, it's a lovely little word. Yeah. Little like that, it's lovely. And it seems to be, have been sort of like produced as well, reproduced, so you can actually hear the music a bit better. Yeah, the music sounds Yeah. Better. Wicked, really nice. Yeah, so grab one of these, there might even be one in the shed shop. Oh, really? Yeah. It's just a nice thing to have it. Yeah, totally. Yeah. Isn't that me there? There you go. Right, next up, our uh, break of the week. And Brad got this in the States, right? I you must have. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I think this one I did, I don't know. Cool. And it's great. What is it? Steppenwolf. Steppenwolf. Lovely break. Yeah, Jupiter's Child by Steppenwolf. Daniel Records. And this is our man Jimmy Smith, uh, and this is the theme from the Night Visitor, which Chris is tonight. It's popped around tonight. <laughs> is it, mate? That's right. It's on Ferv. It's from his Ferv years. Um, it's cracking. It's great. Nice. Really nice. It's slow and moody, and it's, uh, it's a slightly different. Actually, does sort of like beef up and funk up a bit. A little like bit, that. yeah. But yeah. it is. You have to do a bit of forward flicking. It's a moody piece, isn't that right? Well, it's just play it. It's just play it, you know? But um, I like it a lot. Um, I actually keep being into... Uh, well, one of the things I want to do as a side project with this is I want to do like a 20 minute thing on an artist that we both like. So I'm going to do one on Jimmy Smith and not just play records, but talk yeah. about it and do a little bit of a history lesson. I'm Sensible. Gonna, gonna no gonna no, no smutty jokes or anything no. like that. I'm going to do the crankies. Chris is going to do the crankies yeah, yeah. and they'll probably follow that up with the goodies. Yeah. yeah. And, um, but yeah, that'd be, that'd be a cool thing to do. Yeah, I think so. Very grown up. Yeah. I tiled the kitchen floor with Jimmy Smith albums the other day. I just was bored, so I laid them all out. <laughs> I got about 28, 29. Cool. And I just laid them all out on the kitchen floor. I thought that was cool. There you go. It gets a little bit funky. But then it gets a bit yeah, it's, it's a seven. It's nice. I'm, I think I put it on an album and all, but I didn't even realise I had this. So. Yeah. Cool, anyway, make sure that you pick up your copy of DJ Format Psych Out, you can't miss it, it's everywhere at the moment, but I'm sure that you want to get a copy of that for me in one tunes. Make sure if you're in Bryant to go check out uh, our main uh, Justice and Metro playing at Jazzology. That's right. 
Black Dove. Yes. Yeah, the Black Dove Saturday night. If you're there, I'll probably see you there. Uh, check out the 45 as well on that. Um, if you haven't listened to it already, listen to our man Ollie, Tough Cut. Yes. I've run out of breath then. I know, yeah. He was, um, he was interviewing Melly Mel yeah, was and schmoozing, Scorpio. Schmoozing with Melly Mel and Scorpio. Yeah, so he done a little out. special show. He's caught us out because we'd already put something together. Yeah. Um, and it was at 10 o'clock on HFM, wonderful HFM, last week, but it's on Ollie's uh, SoundCloud now. So check that out, but check him out four to six every Sunday for the uh, Crate Fast show. Indeed. And don't forget to check out our man Disco Jeff. Yep, Liquid. Liquid. I don't know what date that is and time that is now. Is it Thursday still? Is it still the Thursdays? I don't know. We'll put a, a thing up, but I'm sure Jeff will put a comment and all. It's just wonderful. Please. Yeah. Cool. And we'll catch you next week. Bye bye.